Hi everyone, so we thought we'd do another video on getting to know Rolly. Um, our current setup, we've got our new tripod, but because of my room having like a yellowy, well the room we're in, sorry, the, a yellowy colour type wall, it kind of gives off a yellow effect, so on our phones you can swipe them up and you can put the torch on, so that's what we've done, so currently it's just sitting on the tripod, just like sitting it, so it looks yeah. like we've got a light on us. So we're a bit blinded in the eyes at the moment, but as you can see the light reflected. That doesn't really matter, and obviously you can see more shadow. But it? it's better quality than just like looking like The Simpsons. So. Yeah. So we did getting to know Ronnie hashtag one. We thought we'd now do hashtag two, <clears throat> and instead of like thinking of questions ourselves, we thought we'd use this little book that we found. So, it's called the Kids Book of Questions, so we're just going to pick random ones and then you'll get to know our responses to questions and that way you'll get to know us. So, we're first one. We're just going to pick random ones, like we've not already pre-picked them. Yes, yeah, so I've opened the first page, well the second page, and I'm literally just going to do this and stop, okay? So, first one, quite a, uh, ooh, a touchy subject for some people. Holly. Do you think boys or girls have it easier? I'm not sure. Part of me says boys because they haven't got to deal with periods or childbirth I like or the way pregnancy. you say periods. You could just say ladies things. Well, wow, we're growing up <laughs> and mature enough to talk about menstruation. Okay. But on the other hand, maybe girls have it better because when girls are on their periods, or they're pregnant, or they're going through childbirth, they can be very irrational and crazy, and it's hard to deal with a woman. So, boys kind of have it hard, because I don't know about any of you girls, but I become this moody, angry, irritable mess, and no matter what Ryan does, I'm either annoyed, angry, or crying. He does really well with me, but... But then, so you get the week of Missy here being on her little cycle. Yeah, but when I'm on my little cycle, I'm just upset. But because us boys have to do it, I don't know if you guys get it, but when us boys have to put over it for a week, the week after we go on to our myriad, which is like a Or menstruation. Yeah, so where we've had to put up with so much bleh and <laughs> all the time, we then go into a little bit of a... Well, I want the attention now. <laughs> so, my take on it, I think... Oh, I didn't that... even answer the question. I don't know who has it worse. You did. You said you think girls have it easier. I said, yeah, but then on the other hand... Oh, carry on. No, I said, I think boys have it easier, but then on the other hand, maybe girls have it easier. But then again, my answer to girls having it easier wasn't girls having it easier, it was just mean boys having it harder. True. Well, my take on it is, I personally think boys have it easier because I don't know about you lads but I would not want to have something every month. Blood. And can you stop being so gory? I know we've just, Why watched, is we've it? just watched Saw and she's so like, I'm gonna go on a gory No, myself. I'm not. I'm just saying, why is it boys can't talk about yeah, but it's periods? Like, it's like a normal thing. Yeah, but it's like me coming up to the camera and going, Hi guys, we're gonna talk about periods and blood. It's not nice. It's a normal thing, every girl goes through it. But people don't it. want to talk about it. Okay, whatever. So, I think boys have got it easier because one, I do not want... the Two, why would you want to push a baby between something very small? And... Three... I just think boys have got it easier. You haven't got boobs to carry around. You haven't got hair to brush all day. You haven't got to put makeup on to feel, unless you're into that sort of stuff, makeup on to make you feel a bit better. And also, I think there's a lot more pressure on girls now to look better. So, for example, you see all these fitness models and stuff like that. All the girls lately are just like, I want a big booty, I want a nice bum, I want, I want to have a squat. So, I personally think boys got it easier. Go to the gym, lift, look good, do your hair, and stay clean and smell good. Cool. Right then, ready? Come on, go. We have to take it in turns. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Right, when was the last time you did something nice for a stranger just to be nice? Hmm. 
I think something stupid like, because uh, I do delivery driving, so I think obviously they're a customer, but they're a stranger to me. So just something silly like I had an elderly lady um, who couldn't like physically take the bags out of the trays and things like that. So I did. I pretty much unloaded all her shopping for her, um, undid all the bags because they're all tied in knots. Um, and I also like she has trouble with jars and bottle tops. So I just open all of her bottles and then just do them on gently so that she can do them themselves because she's like obviously got arthritis in her hands so she can't get the grip. So. Oh, so cute. Yeah, that's probably mine. I don't know what mine is, which sounds really bad because it makes me sound like I never help anyone. I don't know, just... Oi. So I guess sometimes when I'm at work, we're taught to don't wait till the customer approaches you. If you can see that the customer is struggling, you should approach them before they need to ask. Mm -hmm. And I guess, you know, the job I do, we're on a timer, like, we don't really have time to help customers, but I always try and if I can hear them talking, oh, where's this, or what should we do about this, or do you know what this is, you know, on their list, or particularly if it's a man, he's been sent in to get some ingredient he's never heard of. Yeah. I hear him mumbling to himself, I'm like, oh, sir, are you looking for this? It, do you want me to show, oh, yeah, oh, yeah that would be great if you can show me. That's pretty good. But... I don't know, I don't think it's a great example because like obviously I'm at work, I'm paid to do that, but yeah, yeah, a bit of a lame answer, but oh well. Okay, next one. Okay, if you were given $1,000 or pounds, pounds to use to help other people, how would you spend it? I would spend it on. I don't know. I don't want to just say give it to charity because, like, although that'd be a good thing, I want to use it charitably, but myself. So I think I'd keep it, and then when someone was just, you know, talking in casual conversation, maybe it's someone I know that, I don't know, for instance, say their car broke down and it was going to cost a lot of money to repair it and they didn't have the money and they're really going to struggle, I think I'd just give them the money it costs to fix their car, like they wouldn't be asking me for it, I would just say, oh hey I've got some money, I want to bless you today, and I think that's how I'd use it, I'd wait till I hear that people are struggling, yeah. and then give it directly for what they need, rather than nice. a charity, because yeah. then you don't, I know you give your money to a charity, but you never actually see where that money goes or what it's spent on. Yeah, true, not directly anyway. Yeah. Um, me, personally, uh, I would... Right, me personally, I would keep the money and I would invest it in something like I would try and with the money set up a small centre that provided food and water for homeless people. So I'd invest the money to get money back. So what I'd do is I invest the money in buying something like a small building plus food and then give that to like the homeless people and stuff or the other thing I'd do is I would buy loads of like uh, children apparatus and put that over the local park to mm. give kids more things to do because things get trashed nowadays and yeah. it's unfair on the younger ones you know and you try and make it a safe environment stuff like that. Next, I'll do two more. If you had to pick an age to be for your whole life, knowing you'd never grow older, what age would you pick? Um, so I'm 20 at the moment, 21 in two months time. Um, I'm quite happy at the age I am now, but I think I'd like to get to 23, 24 and stop there, simply because you're still young, to a degree. Yeah. You're still like capable of being athletic. I'm not saying people that are 60 and 70 aren't, but um, you've still got your whole life in, in, like, in front of you still. Yeah. And like at 24, you know, you tend to sort of, by then, got married or had children or moved in and like have your career started. Yeah. So I think that's sort of, I think 24 is the age I'd be. See, well, let me see that. 
never known grow older. But do you think it says where you would never grow older? Do you think you wouldn't become wiser or your body would stay the same but you would become more mature? I don't know, maybe reading into it too much, but maybe. Because if it was just you, your body stays the same age but you get wiser, I would say the same as you, stay at like 24, yeah. 25. However, if you still stay in the same mindset, as weird as it sounds, I think I'd like to get to my 40s because I think when you're in your 40s, you're kind of, you've had the kids, you've got the house, you've got the mortgage, Yeah. you know, you, your kids are a bit more older now, you don't have to run after toddlers and worry about that kind of thing and I think 40 would be a good age to be at because you can enjoy your life again. Because I know, like, my mum was saying to me the other day, like, it's great that, you know, me and Adam are older now and we can all enjoy family time together, but we can also enjoy doing our own things. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, I guess it's that. 40s. Right, last the question. <laughs> yeah, body of a <laughs> Last question. Right. Oh. Um... If you had to pick a new first name for yourself, what would you choose? We've had quite a few conversations about what our parents would have called us if we weren't called this, so I already know. I probably already know, but feel free. No, it's me choosing a name. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. I already probably know yours. Really? Well, yeah, you've always said that. Didn't you want to be like called Lisa and stuff when you were younger? No. I it was Lisa. No. What was it? When I was younger. Lisa. No. I oh, know, that's what we want to call our potential daughter. I'm getting it confused. <laughs> when I was younger, I wanted to be called Kelly. That was it. I knew one of Lisa them. Lisa sounds so much like Kelly. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know why. When I was younger, I wanted to be called Kelly. and yeah. I even refused to respond when my mum and dad called me Holly. My mum wasn't having any of it. She was like, I named you Holly because I like that name. You're being called Holly. Whereas my dad just went along with it for a little while and every time I called me Holly, I'd just ignore him and be like, oh, sorry, Kelly. Yeah. This was when I was a lot younger. But now, if I wasn't called Holly, I'd name my child Holly because I really like my name. Um, with me, I'd like to be called Blake. And that's, that's what we want to call one of our boys, if we have a boy. So, um, I didn't know that. Yeah. I really like the name Blake. I just think it's cool. It's like you call like Dude Blake, Yo Mister, and then it's just like it's just it just rolls over the tongue. It's just like where's Ryan? It's like Blake Ryan. doesn't roll. It's Blake. Yeah, it's like Blake with my tongue. It rolls. There's no rolling in it. It's the. It's like Jack. No, it's Ben. Not. Anyway, with Ryan, it's like Ryan. Oh, Ryan. 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 So, yeah, Blake's mine. She's talking over me as usual. Well, anyway, that concludes today's video. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks so much for watching guys and as we always say if you aren't already don't forget to subscribe and make sure to like this video so we know that you're enjoying them. If you've got any ideas of what you'd like to see in these videos feel free to leave them in the comment sections below and don't forget that you can follow us on Twitter. We don't currently have a Facebook page apart from our personal ones but you can follow our personal Instagrams which are down below as well. Yeah. Which reminds me I changed my name on Instagram every day because of my business so um, we'll change that down below. But yeah, peace out. Bye.